guys, how's it going? Sketchy boy here. Today, I got this gas tank that is super rusty. Um, you see this clip right here, how rusty it is. And so you saw how rusty it was. Yeah, this is pretty rusty. This is off a 92 XT225. Um, it was just been sitting around for eight years. Condensation got inside, rusted the tank out. So today we're gonna be using muriatic acid and some distilled water and a hose to rinse all that crap off in there. Now, some of you guys use vinegar and all that crap, but it takes like seven days to get that shit done so i like instant stuff so yeah on with the video so before i put the muriatic acid in here before if you see on the bottom you got the thing where it goes in and what i did is i just got a chunk of aluminum sealed it up with some goop hopefully it doesn't leak because I didn't want to use my actual uh, fuel pack cock. Because it might damage that. And I am going to use this lid though. Because it is kind of rusty. So what you do is all you do is you just get your muriatic acid. And you just start to pour it in. I can do that. And dump this whole bottle in. Alright so I just grabbed the funnel. And I'm going to pour this muriatic acid all in here. Stop and check, see if it's leaking. Doesn't look like it's leaking. Let's pour the rest of the bottle in. And what you want to do after this, first you want to shake the hell out of it. After that, you want to let it sit on each side of the tank. So that's everything. The soda here, put the lid on. I think that's half a gallon or something. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is... It's not leaking. So I'm just going to shake it everywhere. Get all that rust out of there. Just keep on doing this for a bit and I'll be back. Alright, so I shook it up for a bit. Let it sit on the side like this for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, look at that. Now this thing will actually heat up because the chemical reaction between the rust and the muriatic acid will cause heat. Of course. So that's the chemical reaction where it takes the rust off. And as you can see, it's a lot cleaner. So what I'm going to do is just put this lid on and move it to the side like that. Maybe put a little shim under it and stay like that for about 10 minutes. Alright, so I just had it on this side. Now we're going to flip it upside down like that. And hopefully this part right here doesn't leak. Seems to be leaking a little bit, but it should be okay. Dump that shit out. It's so nasty. Like, look at that. It was clear, and now it's that color. And it did wreck this gas cap. Look. It melted the plastic. So whatever you do, don't put your gas cap on when you're using muriatic acid. Because for some reason, it just broke that. So now I gotta go and get a new one. So that kind of sucks. But next, we're gonna try to dilute this shit and water it down. Alright, turn on your hose. Okay, so I just rinsed this out a bunch of times with the hose and all that crap came out. 
including my gas tank cap. So that freaking sucks. I gotta go and get a new one. But the last step we're gonna do is put some distilled water in there. Shake it around and we should be good. All right, so I got distilled water. Just gonna dump it in there. Whoops. And then I'm just gonna shake the shit out of this thing. And dump it out. We're good. Next step we'll be actually getting this water out because you don't want water in your tank, right? So we'll be using an air compressor and a blow dryer. Alright, got a hair dryer here. That's what I'm gonna do first. Try to go everywhere, bottom. You can you can also use an air compressor too. Wow, that's absolute shit. But anyways, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. You can see that hole bottom there. Just get all the moisture out. And that's pretty much what it is. So let's look at a before and after video. And we'll see. Alright, so you see how rusty this tank was? And now look at it. This muriatic acid is actually the way to go. You gotta be very careful though, it is like acid, so be very careful. And uh, this is what you were so get out of there. That was clear, just think. That's what's in your gas tank. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Please use this method, it works really good on rusty tanks. And if you'd like to know how to seal your inside of your gas tank using PORR15 gas tank sealer, please watch the video here somewhere and see you guys later.